a lot of Caucasians personally, they'll be like, soy is a good thing. They're like, not lying. Yeah. So you see what's They're happening? Not lying. Yeah. It's good <laughs> for them. If you sit in the sun, it's going to do something to you. And if they sit in the sun, it's going to do something mm -hmm. different, to, different them. to them. A lot of Caucasians personally, they'll be like, soy is good. Are people really spotting zombies in Walmart? By the way, TikTok is for entertainment purposes only. Let's watch this real quick. Whoa. Nah, that's crazy. Whoa, whoa, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if you guys saw what, what I that? saw, but there is no logical explanation for that. Like, five second rule does not count for that. Mm -mm. And it also disgusting. cannot be a coincidence that the CDC has put out multiple articles about how to survive a zombie apocalypse. And how earlier this year, scientists have revived a zombie virus that spent 48,000 years in frozen permafrost. Like, what does that even mean? How are they reviving the zombie virus? Comment who you would take with you in a zombie apocalypse. And don't forget to follow me. Let's get it. Uh, right. Our people... We're like, what are you doing in, the, in that situation? Zombie apocalypse? Does this out of nowhere happen? What are you doing? <laughs> like, man... If you ain't got no gun, nothing, no pet, nothing, uh, you, you, you're done for it. I ain't gonna lie. You're done. Taking this supplement will ten times your manifestation. There is a revolution in the biohacking space that you're not supposed to know. Gold. Real edible colloidal gold. This is a supplement that you should be taking that's going to increase the performance in so many areas of your life. It will rejuvenate your soul. Click the link in my profile to learn more. If Satan punishes bad people, doesn't that make him good? You don't realize how hard you chew your food until you bite your tongue. You could be the last person that saw someone before they went missing. Wow. Damn. All <laughs> children deserve parents, but not all parents deserve children. True. Every human in history has looked at the exact same sun that you have. Knocking on someone's door is just house abuse. Every time you go to sleep, you trust your body to keep breathing and wake you up in the morning. You want to know what's wild? The clothes we wear every day have been to more countries than we have. Wow. You could be watching this video in perfect sync with someone else. It is okay to kick a pregnant woman. As long as it's from the inside. If Satan punishes... <laughs> Yo, he be going too deep, man. Nah, that's, that's true, dog. Nah. Wow. Hey, bro, you're not where you want to be because you're right where you need to be. And you need to be where you are because where you want to be is where you could have been. And you could have been where you want to be, but the choices you make are keeping you where you are right now. You just gotta do what you gotta do so you can get to where you wanna go. My mixtape is out now. Get drink loaded, link in the bio. Hey bro, you not where you wanna be? Samson. Hera are all the conspiracy theories around the dollar. As you can see, it's got half of the pyramid and half of the eagle. A five dollar. That looks like that's supposed to be the Twin Towers. We come over to the $10 bill. And there they are again, the Twin Towers. Here's a $20 bill. And when you fold it, once again, the Twin Towers, they are falling. The $50 bill. They're pretty much gone now. Looks like the Twin Towers are gone. The Twin Towers are pretty much on the wall. Hera are all the conspiracy theories around the dollar. Y'all remember the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, let's try a new one. A shot of apple cider vinegar a day keeps the farts away. And the bloating. Y'all remember the saying, an apple... There is a conspiracy that one day there will be an orchestrated extraterrestrial invasion on a worldwide scale. And these UFOs slash aliens slash whatever they're going to be will be visible to us. And through technology, a fake being is going to come down and save humanity from this threat. Here's the problem with Project Blue.
sound like a dream. I don't. It feels real good at being awake right now because your soul is literally there. You can travel the universe and find the truth of everything. Think about all the stuff you can do legit though. You can visit family. You can even go back in time and see what stuff looked like in the past. You can go places that you're not allowed to go in the physical. We gotta talk about the fourth dimension. We know that there are people who can experience the fourth dimension while being in the third dimension. Some people have clear audience where they can hear beyond the normal human ear and hear sounds from the fourth dimension. You got clairsentient people who can read other people's emotions and feelings and also read the energy of rooms, houses, parks, basically picking up on the feeling of everything. Then you have clairvoyant where are actually able to see beyond the range of the human eye aka seeing things in the fourth dimension traveling anywhere you want to go a lot of people call these experiences psychic abilities and as you know the average worldly person is only going to limit their 3d experiences to 3d abilities i feel like the real world would accept it more if it was put into like court cases and stuff like that but because this is like a 3d realm they're only going to accept 3d things into the courts let's move forward because i want you to actually understand the fourth dimension and how it works this next part is not to scare you, it's for awareness. I came across a video that perfectly explains the situation and this is her TikTok. Before I show you the video, y'all know those glitches that be happening where like something disappears or there's a weird phenomenon that people can't explain. The Bermuda Triangle, things going missing. And people don't notice it, they don't really care, you know, it's not seen, they can't explain it, so it doesn't matter. Like situations like this. Where did the thing go that he just threw up? Now she's about to explain the things that we do to the second dimension is the same thing that the fourth dimension could be doing to us. We could steal these gems without a key and without damaging the safe. And she would have no idea how they were taken. But we should keep an eye out for ourselves. A four dimensional creature could steal from our safes without a key. Could take the yolk from an egg without breaking the shell appear in a closed room, or see inside of our brains. The fourth dimension is perpendicular to all of our normal 3D space time. AKA, while you're in the ashram, you can see things that other people can't see. You can jump into people's dreams. Why sometimes we have glitches. But there's an interesting reason why people don't acknowledge the realms the ghosts and all the things that happen to us that we can't explain because our 3d mind tries to rationalize everything on a 3d level able to break in without a key but she hasn't taken into account the idea that a three-dimensional creature such as myself might be peering in from above she doesn't even know the concept of above hence why a lot of y'all are having a hard time accepting the concept of fourth dimensional beings fifth dimensional beings, fourth dimensional experiences, people with psychic abilities. So now that y'all have watched this video, what do you think about the astral realm, the fourth dimension, all of that? Y'all stay dangerous. It's definitely real. We sure. Right. Negative spirits can break things. We tried to figure out how much charge. Three signs. That we tried to figure out how much charge the body takes in when you touch the earth. What happens is the body saturates with electrons practically instantaneously. It's so fast that you can't measure it. We tried to and figure out how much charge the that's body... That's why people need to be out in nature. Getting in the grass, getting in the sun. Three signs that someone is using you. Here are some psychological ways to figure out if someone in your life is really only in it for themselves. Number one, narcissism. The next time you're having a conversation, you are going to honestly ask yourself, who is the main character in this conversation? Is it you? Is it both of you? Or is it them and only them? If it is only them, you are going to have a problem. This is narcissism. This is when the person thinks they are the main character at all times. Number two, convenient timing. Pay close attention to timing. Do they have a way of imposing on you at times that conveniently get them exactly what they want? For example, if it's a crush, it's always after 9 o'clock when they text you to come up so they can hook up with you. Number three, check the vibe. You know when you do something nice for someone and you look forward to that feeling of being appreciated and really valued? Well, if that feeling never comes, then you know. As soon as they get exactly what they want, 
their vibe will change from loving to cold instantly. Three signs that... The time is now. The power of now. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And when you get it, if you get it, however you get it, you want to be ready, right? So I encourage you to prepare yourself while you wait. Stay ready so you don't got to get ready. I say. I say. No matter who you talking to, no matter who you meet, you always want to make sure that you're talking to a person that actually have a soul and a spirit. There are beings called sentient programs, which are Agent Smiths in this matrix. Yeah. Most of the time, if you are aware, if you are questioning reality, if you are questioning everything about this computerized system, Agent Smith is always going to be there. If you watch Pop the movies, The Matrix, what, 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 Agent Smith can body snatch you, anybody that's up. vibrating on a low frequency or people who believe in this system, who thinks everything they see with these two eyes are real. So you may be dating a sentient program. If that person is a doctor or a lawyer or a teacher or a police officer, they are a part of this program and that's your enemy. Just like what Morpheus said. If they're not with you, they're against you. That's your enemy. Another way to realize that we are in a matrix, next time you're on a plane, at nighttime, look down at the ground. You're literally going to see the whole grid, the whole format set up like a computer on the inside of it. This is a yeah. whole computerized program that you need to get unplugged out of. No matter who you here are a few things you are guaranteed going to discover for yourself when you have your first out-of-body experience. Just to be clear, an out-of-body experience is mostly referred to as astral projection, but it could also be dream walking or whatnot. Number one, you are going to notice that extraterrestrials are everywhere, bro. You leave your body and all of a sudden, you see beings all around Earth. Especially if you go off the planet and you see them everywhere and their spaces everywhere, you're like, yo, y'all been here? And you realize how ghetto Earth is because you see their civilizations, especially if you land there and they can see you. They're like, hey, what is a human doing here? And you're like, I don't know, I'm just visiting. And then you look around, and you're like, damn, y'all good over here. Number two, you realize reincarnation is the fabric of life in the universe. You leave your body and then you realize that there's more to life than the physical realm, that there's more existence beyond that. And it makes you excited because then you want to know where were you before this lifetime? Right. You want to know what really happens when you die. You're like, you go to this realm and then you go somewhere else after? And then you go somewhere else after? Number three, you realize that religion is basically the gateway to consciousness. It's crazy because you look around and you're like, okay, well, the truth is spread out through all the religions. All the religions are right and they also have some things perceived in the wrong way. So for example, Noah's Ark happened, Adam and Eve happened, but not like how they say. Astral projection will open up a whole new world for you. Here are a few things you are- Have y'all ever astral projected? Let me know, man. Put your, put your experiences in the comments if you can uh, word it like that. That's that probably be difficult, but let me know in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and end the video off right here, y'all. Okay? Appreciate everybody that stayed to the end if you have. Okay? Appreciate you staying to the end, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. I'm sending peace, abundance, prosperity. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying this. Make sure you eating your fruits, man. I don't care what you eat that day. Make sure you get some kind of fruit in you, man. Okay? It could be an apple to get a fruit, okay? All right. With all that being said, I'm going to end it off right here. Peace out.